Hello, I'm Zisos Mitros from the Robotics and Vision Medicine Lab of Kicks College London. I would like to present to you our work entitled Design and Quantistatic Modeling of Hybrid Martial Continuum Robots. Continuum robots show promise to make various interventions less invasive. The literature review has shown that an important clinical requirement is the ability of a system to deliver multiple tools to the surgical area of interest and at the same time be able to cover totally the workspace. Being inspired by these necessities, we proposed the first continuum multi-arm robotic system combining two technologies, the push-pull technology and the concentric cube technology. Moreover, we propose a generalized mechanics-based mo based kinematic model, which is able to describe the shape of the end effector that is, that is actuated by the two different technologies. The developed model considers an arbitrary number of push-pull segments and CPR arms. Every continuum end effector consists of the navigation and the manipulation section. The first one is that part of the end effector, end effector that takes us to the surgical area of interest, while the latter is the, is the part of the end effector that is responsible to perform the desired surgical task. In a hybrid continuum robot, the navigation section consists of, of push-pull actuated segments. These segments are actuated by pushing or pulling maximal rods. These rods pass freely from supporting fixtures, but are readily connected to the last fixture of the segment. Regarding the manipulation section, we propose the usage of three concentric cube robot arms. This number was determined based on the clinical requirements of various interventions. Each CTR comprises two nitrogen cubes with four degrees of freedom per CTR. In this slide, you can see the robotic prototype that we built in order to prove the concept of hybrid continuum robots. On the right, you can see the part of the prototype that is responsible to actuate the CTR arm, while on the left, you can see that part that is responsible to actuate the push pull rods. Moreover, you can see on the far left of this slide the developed end effect. Lastly, on the far right, you can see the visual tracking system that we built in order to compare the experimental result to the simulated one. The shape of the end effector is predicted using the Cosrad rod theory. Here, each one of the tubular components was modeled as a one slider continuum rod. The problem is solved as a boundary value problem using shooting methods. The overall error between simulations and experiments was found to be 3.56% per unit length. Such an error is close to the state of the art for non hybrid systems. I would like now to thank you for your attention and if you have any questions, I would be more than happy to answer them in the Q&A section that follows. Thank you.